Okay, so we got all the parts to the first, uh, for the print chamber, for the first part. And uh, I will tell you, you need to be very careful. So like these three sides, uh, where the hole placement is, you need to be very cognizant of, of, of the layout of these. It's not clear, and these are not labeled at all. Um, so it takes a little bit of uh, searching through your parts to make sure you find the right uh, parts that have the right holes, because this part, which is a separate listed on the bill materials, is separate and you can see the holes are uh, a little bit different than on these other three so there is a difference in there where they place uh, i would highly recommend that you find all the parts make sure you understand the orientation um, you know so here's the heating blocks and the uh, uh the cartridge that inserts into them there's four of these here you've got the thermistors here four of them you've got the corners uh, for this and then these are the uh, side connectors, and then you have uh, packages all labeled really well. Uh, this uses uh, M4s for the assembly. So, and there's three different types and lengths. So, uh, very important. So, uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, uh, now that we've got everything laid out, uh, we can start uh, progressing through. I'll probably speed up through some of this, and I may slow it down uh, when it's important. Uh, but Okay, so at this point, uh, we've got basically a fourth of it done. And uh, so obviously you saw in the beginning on the Loctite, uh, it's best to put it in a container and that way you can coat it so you don't get too much on there. Um, there's, you can see on this that, you know, and it says it in the instructions that you leave this hole empty for now. And, uh, and just these inside ones. And then there's two of these going here. So that's pretty much the process. And uh, so I'll tell you what, I'll uh, uh, go through and we'll come back when I get to anything that looks uh, uh, significantly different uh, from, the, uh, from what we've already done. All right, so it's taken me about 30 minutes to get the three sides. Uh, the other side obviously looks like the uh, uh, different. So I just wanted to stop here. So a couple things I want to note. Um, it's very important that you orient the sides and everything for the pictures. Uh, the holes here are near the top, or uh, actually opposite. Uh, these are close to the bottom down here. Uh, the second thing is not pay very close attention to the screws that it tells you to use. Uh, you can see these are button head here on the ones, and then the rest call for this, and some they leave, uh, you know, they just have a buttonhole and, and on different sides. So pay very, very attention to the, the quantity. Uh, also very important, um, you know, when you screw in uh, things in the thing, always back off a little bit so you don't strip. So you kind of, and then start uh, driving the screw. So we'll put the screw in, back it off, opposite direction until it sets in there, and then start slowly. Take your time, folks. Um, you don't want to strip anything out. And uh, you know, everything looks like it aligns really well right now. So uh, holes all align. It's been pretty good. 
just like I said, be very, very close attention to the actual uh, screws that are needed and locations and orientation of all the parts because um, orientation obviously here is uh, um, important. So, all right, so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, work on the uh, last side here. And uh, it looks like uh, the most part, it looks pretty much takes this one side, which I'm a little confused now because uh, I may have messed up already. Uh, it has the short side. It doesn't show the special one that it showed in the initial instruction. So let me just see uh, what's going on there. Okay, so I finally got figured it out. So there is one side, if you recall, it was different. It was this side, and it's actually the holes are closer. And when I was going through the instruction, it was not clear which panel for each step was to be used. And so I had to go back to the main assembly drawing on the, the thing and rotate it around and actually see where the short side was and, and how, because there's so many different orientations. Like you got, uh, you know, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve of the sockets here on the side, uh, which is on that unique side. And then on this side, you got two buttons at the top and eight there. And then on this one, you got buttons top and bottom and then the middle. So quite a little bit. I think it's as clear on the assembly instructions. Obviously, if you go to the drawing, it's clear, but each assembly step was not clear. And that's uh, something we'll have to get back with Thomas on and, uh, and get that squared away. But uh, so far, uh, now we're on to uh, adding on the heater blocks here, which is the, uh, the next step. Okay, um, so I left off from, uh, we had the four sides and we needed to mount the heater blocks and the thermal uh, couples and the heater elements here. So a couple notes. Uh, this actually took me a little bit longer uh, than, than I wanted. Uh, one, as I told you, uh, one of these elements here um, is closer to the edge. And when I got down to the fourth side, I realized the orientation of all these socket heads or button uh, so, um, screws were not right. And so when I went back to the instructions, I realized uh, it wasn't really clear where this one went in the, in the uh, individual assembly instructions. So I had to go back and redo those. Then I real, also realized if you notice then of the ones that uh, have this in the middle, the heater block in the middle, the thermocouple, uh, and this one, it's to the right. On these two panels, they're on the uh, left here. So uh, that, it was very confusing uh, for why this one panel uh, was different. And once again, in the individual assembly instructions, I probably missed it, uh, but that's something you need to be aware of. Uh, the other thing too then, then assembly of the heater blocks was fairly simple. However, I actually had to rework these as well because I mounted a couple of them and then I realized um, on the heater blocks, it has a tapped hole at the bottom, obviously, uh, for the heater core to go in there. So uh, I had a couple that were reversed, so I had to redo those. So just make sure that you know which side the tap side needs to be on. I asked you to, uh, I had to use a 3 8 uh, socket to tighten these up here. Uh, there's nothing in the kit that's 3 8 that I saw. So you just have to use your own. Um, but I actually, the instructions should mount the heater block on and then screw these in. I actually think that it would be a lot easier to screw these in first uh, to get a full uh, twist of the wrench, then mount these on. I think that would that should be a change in the instructions just to make it easier. So overall, it probably took me about an hour uh, when I put this together. And so I would just, uh, but I think overall, if, uh, you know, now that I'm more comfortable with uh, the setup, I think this should take about a half hour. So the print chamber is done. We're gonna move to the powder chamber. That's the instructions in front of me right here. And uh, we'll see then. It's pretty much the same box as this. And I'm, when I look through initially, it looks like everything's pretty much um, the, the same. And the orientation too, with one of these sides having a thermocouple opposite 
and one side having the uh, heater block close to the edge. So that one I think should go a lot quicker. So I'll time that. So that's on to the powder chambers, the next set of instructions. Okay, I think we've got the uh, initial box done. So um, got it right. So now we're gonna do the heater blocks and uh, and this is where it says to mount these first and then uh, add in the um, heating block element. So I think I'm actually gonna screw those in first because I just think it's easier to, to get them tightened up. And then that way, once I get them in, I know they only mount with them down instead of mounting these first and realizing I may have the tap screw up. So um, that's what I'm gonna do next then. And so yeah, I just thought I'd just show you here that so these are gonna just go in um, this one actually threaded pretty good. The first one I did, uh, it took pretty much a three eighths inch wrench the whole time, but that way I can turn this and these aren't getting twisted and binded. They twist freely when they're next to the, the chamber sides, obviously, uh, you have to manually turn them by hand. So anyway, that one snugged up pretty good. So, uh, I'll stop and complete it. And then I'm going to go ahead and mount these to this. They use, use a little bit. They use an M4 screw, but they use the shorter... Uh, M5. Make sure you use the right one because you want to make sure they don't protrude to the other side. It does say if you, it protrudes through that to add a, wa uh, a washer. Uh, I didn't need to do that on the print chamber, so I don't imagine I'll have to do it on the powder, but the main thing is they don't want any screws to protrude into the inside. So uh, that's what we'll end up doing. Thanks. Okay, this went together much faster by putting these in first and then putting on the heater block. So uh, I think that ought to be a change and that everything looks good. I'm gonna just take a, a, a wet towel, wipe everything down. And then the last step here uh, is inserting the uh, thermo couples into the this tap tools here on each one. So I'll go do that. And then that'll be the uh, powder chamber uh, complete. Okay, we've got everything. Uh, I wiped everything down, excess inside of any Loctite. And, uh, you can see the thermocouples are in now, and uh, the powder chamber is done, according to the instructions anyway. So now I have the print chamber and the powder chamber, and my instructions here says that the bottom frame assembly part one is next. So I'm going to go ahead and I recommend you do this. Uh, actually go through the instructions first for the assembly you're working on, and then go back and uh, collect all the parts, make sure you got those organized, and then um, then you can get started. Uh, obviously reading through the first time, you don't want to get stuck in the middle. And uh, so anyway, let's uh, get, I'll get all my parts ready for the uh, next assembly.